just did another run. Uh, got a little heat into it. Second run was pretty strong. 25.9. So that's pretty pretty strong, I think. So once that you wanted a little bit of heat into it. But basically 26 horse. And it just pulls all the way to 15,000 RPM. So pretty happy with that. I'm gonna play with the setup a little bit, but for now, getting my bearings with the dyno, really happy with that number. That means that this thing is where it needs to be, so onward. Look at this guy. He's getting a phone. He drove all the way from Connecticut to get an iPhone X. So hopefully he's doing he's on the phone with them right now. We found one in Miami and he wants it so bad he just drove 20 million hours and now he's gonna get this so, phone I don't need to put a SIM card in it? Sick He's gonna get it? I think So, so do I own the phone now? You gonna get something? Well, I need a nice STI swap. Think so for the Forester? If I can get it for a nice fifteen hundred bucks, what do you think? Yeah. 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 Count me in. Let's go. Should be able to do that. We made it. We made it. My I my son last night. It's like I'm so tired. Yeah. I've this is the longest I've ever stayed up. <laughs> this is what, 48 hours now? No, it's probably like 33, 30, 34? 34 hours? All the way here? We're at the Aventura Mall. And we found the only iPhone available. And here it is, we're gonna get it. Yes, Yeah. Is that the spark? That is the spark. The little boy. Ooh, I like that one. That one's pretty sick. Small. Dang, I kind of want a gimbal. I need one that can hold this. Ooh, can you like use the camera too? Is this like a fake thing? Well, he got it. Three hours later, we got Jesus. it. Jesus. Used up all my time. We're gonna just stroll back by Ferrari and see if they want to sell me something. Where is it up here? It's it's at the, all the way at the other end of the mall. Jeez. Look at this guy stalling. He doesn't want the Ferrari thing. He don't want it. What do you think of my scooters? I think they're fun. I think I want to steal one. You gonna get one? I want to. You gonna steal one of mine? Jack's being weird though. Why? Because he, he's ma he's making some weird. I don't, I don't even know the word. Deals. He weird deals, that's what he's doing. Well, he wants one of my scooters. He wants my he wants so my rat. So what he said, he was like, give me a price and whatever you say, you can have. I told him, make me a fair offer. Make me an offer. Load that scooter onto the truck. Please take it. Roberto <laughs> wants all of them gone. Well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Clearly, so. I guess you can't, you can't have your, your dream all at one time, sorry. I'm not expecting it. I will uh, help you load that one in the truck, but oh. look at that, look at that sweet O. Women love you. What's up guys? It is Monday and Connecticut guys are headed home. Rudnick came through, uh, picked up a couple things. You'll see that. And Tommy's back up there. So we're going back to work mode. Well, you know, play, work, play, whatever. That mode. Scooter Dino's good. Been playing around with that, got that all set up. And in the meantime, I picked up another project as you guys uh, may have seen or heard. I, I wanna build a cafe racer um, and I picked up a old Ninja 250, which is nothing impressive to the world of sport bikes clearly, but 
in the world of cafe racers, I think this is a good platform. It's carbureted. It's, it's technically old school. This is an 07. It's like the last year of this older body style. And, uh, you know, it's in pretty good shape. It's only got like 6,000 miles on it. So, I went ahead and just did all the basic routine maintenance stuff to it. Chain lube, oil change, that kind of stuff. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ride it for a little bit just to get a feel for it while I get some parts. But for the most part, this is gonna be a really simple build, I think. It's basically just gonna entail changing the tail a little bit, put a different tail on it so it's a little bit more old school, flat looking. And then I wanna do a half fairing for the front so it's going to be like an old school retro looking scooter slash cafe racer. This is a good running bike. Carbureted like I said so it's pretty simple. No electronics really to fail. But every, everything works on it. I, headlight, I mean, uh, turn signals that were here. They were actually not here. They were, like, hanging. I got rid of those. And, uh, in the back, there was turn signals hanging. He had beat that up pretty good, so I went ahead and I slashed the tail to get rid of all that bracketry and stuff just for now. And then I mounted a couple of bulbs inside these housings so that way the turn signals actually still work. Also got rid of the air box. There was an air box here originally and it was in the way. So I got rid of the air box and I'm just going to put two velocity stacks on the carburetor. That'll look a lot better and it'll just kind of add to the effect of the, of the motorcycle. So that'll be nice. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a good half fairing, uh, kind of like that old Ducati, Moto Guzzi, old school, you know, cafe racer look. So I want to do that. I want it to be vintage looking, but obviously a little more modern, which is what we have here. Probably do a single sided exhaust. Uh, I don't know, a couple other things. I really want, really would like to find a good, like, RD350. I know a couple people have hinted that that would be a good one. Uh, but I, I like the, the old school two-stroke stuff. But four-stroke's obviously more reliable and it's just easier to tune. But I'm a tuner, so I'm down for whatever. But this'll, this'll be a good one. Look at this project going. We'll see how it turns out. I'll put it on the dyno. Also, just to baseline it, I bet it doesn't make as much horsepower as my scooter, which will be hilarious. The scooter is just a dyno queen now as it is, though. I actually took it out. We were going to ride it ride around on scooters last night, and uh, I, I let Rudnick drive it, and he was just like, hell no. So, it, it is a very, very peaky, difficult scooter to ride on the street. Fun, yes. Practical, hell no. So, the uh, 250 Ninja will do for now. This is this will be my little street duty slash fun ride until I get all the parts for the Cafe Racer conversion. But it, it's super reliable, and I used to have one of these back in the 90s, way back when, and uh, it, it was it was the first real. I call it a real motorcycle. It was the first real motorcycle. I had dirt bikes up to that point. But that was the first real motorcycle that got me into the two-wheel world, really. And it brought back so many memories when I got on this one and started riding again. So I'm really excited to, to, to actually pursue this build and make something cool out of it. So watch along. And it'll be a slow process, but I'll throw tidbits in here and there as I do it. Roberto likes his... Oh, I love my, my new bike. I haven't ridden yet. <laughs> He's gonna ride on this too. Roberto's gonna get his uh, his his wings on this bad boy.
So let's see how he fits. Oh, look at him. Look at that. That's a pretty good. You know what I mean? It looks right. Oh, look at him go. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Wear your helmet. Put the kickstand up. Florida. Made it. How was your ride? That's excitement. One of these. Front finger. That's it.